So now we're going to look at a new animation. I'm on the zero frame. We can already see some poking through, which we already know how to fix. Remember, the first thing we do would have been check the smooth, but not for this second phase. The second phase, you don't want to check the smooth. You just want to go ahead and go straight into the pooling method because we've already smoothed this out. Now it's a matter of we want to check it uh, with the... Uh, you know, with the other method. So we're going to use the pull instead of the push. Uh, so first thing I want to do is go ahead and set this at 0 0.02. And I see a little spot here, so I'm going to go ahead and select my skirt, uh, edit my envelopes, and I'm going to go ahead and start painting. So go down here and select paint weights. Maybe grow this up a little bit and just click it uh, once, twice, three times. And I'm just going to click it until it comes out. Hear me clicking? That's me clicking multiple times. There you go. Maybe try to smooth it out with a pull. There we go. Alright, now let me zoom in here. This is where it gets tricky. You want to shrink your brush down. And uh, I might have to get a little violent with this and set it up to a point one. What bone am I on here? Just verify. Uh oh, I better check a change of frame. There we go. Get my bones back into place right. It doesn't seem to be having an effect here. Oh, that's because I'm smoothing. Whoops. Why would you guys tell me I was smoothing? Look at that. I just messed everything up. Right, let me pull this out. That's why it was taking me forever. There we go. All right. Maybe shrink that down some. Try to get a better... That's a very, very, very dangerous area. Because, like I said, there's two areas that are warring over it. Yeah, your pelvis... And if it's a little jagged, that's okay. It's going to be, got to think about it. Clothes are going to crinkle, so you got to expect the, uh, you know, in that area, if you were kind of sitting like that, your clothes, like if you look at your jeans, if you were in jeans right now, you'll notice that they kind of do that. They kind of crinkle around. And that's basically what you're doing is you're creating these creases. I'm going to go to the pelvis here because this looks more pelvisy. There we go. All right, that looks good. Now, this is just one frame. There's several frames that we have to check here. And I'll show you the easier way to do that. All right, with pelvis still selected, I can see something poking through here. Uh, there we go. That actually kind of smoothed that out a little bit. Looks better. Let me grow it up a little bit. And there we go. Uh, maybe right here. There we go. And right there, some of the booty was sticking through. Fix that up. Oh, okay. And I got some right here on this thigh I need to fix, so I'm going to find my thigh. Ah, there we go. And uh, maybe grow this up a little bit. i got to be careful because i got a warring area, so maybe I'll shrink this down some. I kind of want to check that angle. It yeah, looks good. Very touchy areas. Now I gotta kind of create a crease here, which is what I'm doing now. I'm letting these two guys fight over this area. It's getting really close here. I'm trying to paint in. They move really, really close. There you go. Create that crease. And this crease needs to rise up pretty high. All right. Hmm. Problem right here. And it looks like right in here. There you go. And uh, it's gonna look like crap here, but trust me, with the texture thrown on it and playing in game, you ain't even gonna be able to tell it ever happened. That it even looks like this. It's not even gonna be noticeable. Set that to a one. There we go. Oops, don't want to do that. That one kind of needs to stay where it is. All right, let's give the pelvis some uh, some say so here. So I'll go to the pelvis, and I'll slick some of these. Uh, oh, that's smoothing. I don't want to smooth it. I want to pull it. I'll point that to point zero two. I'm going to pull. Hmm. Kind of liked it the other way. Very, very hard to 
decide. Like I said, we are going to move this out just a tad bit, so you get it as close as you can. Let's try that other bone. Pelvis doesn't seem to want to negotiate fairly. There we go. And right in there. See, I'm done zooming way in. I'm trying to find out where it's giving me issues. That looks good. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, check some more frames here. So to check more frames, the easiest thing that I've found to do is to focus on this section when you're in uh, the MTI. I only notice I'm on the left-hand section. And I'll go ahead and just uh, click my play button. I'm going to watch for stuff. See, there it is. There's stuff moving through. So I just stop the animation by clicking on it. And now I'm going to go ahead and renegotiate uh, by using the pushing and pulling. So I'm going to grow this up some. Whoops. There we go. Uh, too big. Let's shrink this down some. Control Shift and shrink it. There you go. It looks like I got a little problem here. This kind of seems like it's. Let me see. Yeah, it's more controlled by the pelvis. So let's fix that with the pelvis. There we go. That's a little better. And yeah, right here. There we go. Now see, that's why they call it painting because it almost looks like I painted that on there. You know, even though I it's not really painting it looks like I just painted it out so they call it painting at least that's my understanding oops don't do that all right and then I'll check the other side now you can instead of hitting the play button you can just kind of select it and then move it through the animation and kind of watch and see if it looks like stuff's poking through and sometimes change the ah right here that's definitely this bone there we go all right, let's play it through some more. And just playing it through the animation. Everything looks fine here from this angle. I'll zoom over here. And let's take a look-see. Hmm. I wonder if I can fix that up a little better. Is that just the shadow? Okay, that was just the shadow. Never mind. All right. Everything looks fine over here. And then once you kind of got everything uh, set up, sometimes you can select one of these off bones, uh, right click, unfreeze all, and let's go ahead and just play it like this. And then I can get a really good view here. I know it looks a little jagged, that's okay. Uh, in game, you can be able to tell that that's, uh, that's like that. All right, so you have a texture on it and everything. And again, jeans crease, so why shouldn't a skirt, you know, or why shouldn't it crease in game and look like it's creased over? Man, that looks really good. I don't see anything poking through. I just played that animation. Now I changed things in this, so I need to go back and re-import my old animation, the running one, before I move forward. So I'm going to go ahead and stop uh, what I'm doing. I'm going to file and I'm going to import the other animation. I'm going to go back up, re-import the MT run forward KF, select open. Same setup there. Make sure the body looks right. Like it ain't all weirded out. Everything looks fine. And then go ahead and play through my animation here and make sure nothing got messed up. All right, that looks really good. So once I'm happy with it, you know, and I don't see anything poking through, uh, I'm ready to finalize, you know, confirm that I'm not going to have any issues. And to do that, uh, I need to get this back in the static MT pose before I do anything. So I'll go to File and I'll select Import and I'll select my static pose. All right, select Open and import it. Now I want to unhide all because I want to confirm that the bones are actually sitting in the static pose position because just like those other animations sometimes screw up, sometimes the static pose screws up. Now, I already know that both the animations work. We done checked them, okay? It's very important before you export in, which what we're going to do is we're going to export this and then we're going to re-import it, all right, before we make any changes to the mesh because if we try to change the mesh now, it'll move. And we we got to have it still. And you need to make sure that you are done painting weights before you export, okay? Because if you got to be happy with your MT run and you got to be happy with your uh, your you know your crouching sneaking position, got to be very happy with it without stuff poking through before you export because you're not going to be able to weld this sucker again. Uh, well, you can, but a lot of times what happens is it will screw up the way your mesh looks when you do that. So it's generally not a good idea. Um, 
So again, make sure everything looks fine. You're happy with the way it looks because what we're going to do is we're going to export. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to move this section out just a little bit of the mesh. I'm not going to change the skin. I'm just going to select the mesh, move this out a little bit. I'm going to move this out a little bit because remember that's where it was creasing. I want to confirm that the body is not poking through by moving it out just a tad. All right? And I'm also going to take the skirt. And even though the skirt's not poking through anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to you know, bring it out a little bit in the back and bring it out a little bit in the front. And uh, then whenever I test it in game, I know everything's going to work. I'm not going to have to do that. But I mean, just like you would fix something poking through from like a vanilla armor without having to skin it. You know, when we tested in game, we saw something was poking through. So we came back in here, moved some of the mesh and exported it without changing anything of the skin data or anything. It's the same concept here. We've created a skin. Now we need to test that skin in game. Um, you know, to make sure nothing's poking through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got this static pose set up, I'm ready. But the best thing to do here is to ensure that there are no keyframes or any animation loaded anymore. And to do that, what you want to do is just import anything. Importing any freaking mesh you can think of will delete and completely eradicate all animations. So you can select your body. You got my initial pose. I'm going to delete the body. I'm going to file, I'm going to re-import a you know my UMP body whatever body you're working with or if you don't have a body just import any game mesh and then delete it you know that's all I'm doing here I'm just making sure I eradicate any animations this is 100% surefire way to eradicate animations is by importing something so I'll go and I'll grab my female body underscore zero select open uh, no skeleton select import all right now I know there are no animations in this frame because this just wiped it out all right I got my skin data, I need to put my BS dismember on here. So I'll select BS dismember, select all the polygons, drop it down, Skyrim torso one, deselect that, and now I'm ready to file and export this. Now I can export it as backup one, I guess, and I'll select save and delete those and give it a second to export, and there we go. Now I can select file new. Again, don't do this unless you are 100% certain that you are done waiting, uh, painting weights. No. File and import. Now I'm going to import that backup one that I just exported. I'm going to go to desktop. I see you la la. Oops, sorry. It's on my desktop. It's in my testing folder. Still getting used to this new setup here. Uh, backup one. Select open. I import the skeleton. And there we go. There's my skirt with the... Uh, proper skin on it and now I'm going to just move some vertices so I'm going to hit alt W I'm going to go ahead and move this over and I'm going to fix a couple things here with the skirt I'm going to go to editable mesh choose some vertices here and let's see here uh, the problem areas remember those two hip areas I'll probably just select it like one vertice kind of close to that uh, use soft selection I don't want to move this so I'll drop that down to where it's not selecting anything there and maybe select another one by holding down control right click move and this is just a precaution I'm just gonna move all that out maybe I'll select more Let's just click some random vertices in here so I get a the area that I want and uh, I'll go ahead and grow that out just a little bit just enough and I do the same thing over here I'm just gonna select a few vertices Make sure I don't have the top selected, you know, and I'll just go ahead and grow that out. Whoops. Maybe over a little bit. All right. All right, see you in the next video here in a second.